Hello, this is the second part of the um, Clean Confinant or something like that um, video that I was doing um, last week. Now, because it's been such a great day, we've had some amazing light, some brilliant clouds, there's some lovely rivers and what have you coming up to this lake. I've got so many good photographs, I'll split it into two videos. Um, so I'll post a link up here somewhere to the video last week. If you've um, watched that or enjoyed it, hopefully you will see this one too. So this is the second part of that video and hopefully you'll enjoy this one. It's been a hard walk to get up here. It's taken about two hours or so to find this lake, mostly because I'm unfit and I got lost on the way. Um, I can see the footpath behind you from here, so I should be able to get back quite easily. But um, I did lose it on the way up because the water was just unpassable in some places, so I had to veer off the path. But I've found it now, um, and I've looked around, I've found this, this composition down here. Um, it's a bit of a pool that's come off the lake here. And we've got Crib Goch in the background, and there is Snowden just to the right of it, but you can't see it, it's been in, in cloud all morning. I've been here about half an hour now, um, waiting for the light, and a few seconds ago, I don't know if you can just see right at the top there, that's where the sun is, and uh, there's a break in the clouds, and it was absolutely amazing. The light just came straight through, lit up the mountains in the background. We had some light down here, some light on, the, on these mountains at the back. It was absolutely amazing, so really worth the effort getting up here. Um, and that's, I suppose that's a good thing to say about making the effort. If, like this morning, I had to get up about half five, quarter past five, something like that. Um, I haven't been feeling too well, I've got a stinking cold. Um, this probably isn't the best idea to come up here because it's gone really cold now. Um, walked up this mountain. It's very cloudy, it didn't look promising, but now I'm up here, everything's made it worthwhile. So it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Once, you've, once you make the effort to come up somewhere and get something and you're rewarded with only, it's probably about 30 seconds of light, just 30 seconds is worth it because it was so good. Um, so I'll talk you through the photograph that I've taken. So I'm looking down at this heather here. It's a bit, it's gone over and there's some dead patches, but it's a bit messy. But hopefully it will add to kind of tell the story a bit because it's very, very harsh up here. So all this dead um, heather and grass and everything might, might add to the harshness. So I've taken a panorama because there's, there's lots of elements that I want to get into this photograph. There's the top of this mountain here. I'm not sure what that's called. Um, you've got the mountains in the background. You've got this beautiful lake. You've got this patch of water here with some beautiful grasses and reeds coming through it. You then got Snowden and Crib Gok over there. And then you've got this lovely mountain with the, some of the clouds coming over it up there. And there's some nice patches of heather and lichens and moss and things down here. So I wanted all those elements in the photograph. So what I did was a panorama. Um, so I started right over there, going all the way around to the mountains over there. Um, I don't know how much of that I'm going to be cropping out. And um, the main bit of interest is this, this pool really from about the edge of this pool to the edge of this side. Um, that way you've got the best background. Um, there's a little bit of interest with this hill and the mountain over that side, but I don't know if it would be strong enough to, to make a good panorama, but definitely it's going to be a nice landscape photograph. So I'm really pleased with that now. I'm happy um, and I'm glad I made the effort to come up here. The sun is breaking through the clouds again. We've got some really nice light hitting the back mountains over there. So what I'm going to do is find another composition um, to capture this light. It's getting quite high up now. I don't know if you can see up there. Um, so the colour's going to be going soon. It's been up, I think it's about 
nine o'clock now, so it's been up a couple of hours. So the light's gonna go soon. There are some patchy clouds that's gonna cover it. So we might get some um, mottled light and patches everywhere, which will be great. So I think I might go and try some compositions down that way, back towards the car, um, because the, the ticket on the car park's up in about an hour, and it'll take about 40 minutes to go back to the car. So I wanna try and start heading that way. I don't really need a ticket. Um, and then work around that way. I, I was gonna climb up there and try and get a photograph looking down this way um, of the lake because there's a nice valley over there. But if you can see behind me, you've got this big hill, which kind of blocks off the, um, the valley behind it. And you need kind of a, really ideally, you want that lead in lines and that will kind of separate the photograph. So you'll have the lake and this thing in the bottom, then the mountains at the top, but you need really a, a gap in there just so the eye naturally leads up to the background. So unfortunately, I don't think that will work. So I'm not gonna go up there now, but I'm gonna go that way because you've still got this lovely lake which will lead the eye in up to these mountains up in the distance. And because these, you've got the same effect, you've got a hill all around that side, but because the mountains are higher, um, it's not so bad and you've got a bit of a dip. So the eye leads into that little bit, that strip down there. So I think, the photos work that way, but not so much that way. We just had a bit of rain. Uh, the cloud up there, it's just poured down. Uh, we weren't supposed to get any rain um, this morning, but uh, looks like we just got a patch of it. Um, I found a bit of a composition here. There's some of these rocks. I'm actually standing in the lake at the moment. Um, to try and get the composition that I want. Again, leading to Crib Goch, because I think that's the best backdrop for this one. Uh, we've got some beautiful light up there though, which is just over there. But the clouds keep breaking um, behind me. So up there we should get some more light coming through in a minute. So I'm gonna try and find a strong composition in this water. I really like these, these rocks and the, the reeds. Um, I'm struggling a little bit for a composition just at the moment. There's a few jets just going over the head, so I don't, hopefully you can hear me, they're really loud. Um, so I'm gonna try and find a nice strong composition um, with these beautiful reeds and some of these rocks in it. Um, and then leading off, um, I might use the, the shoreline as a leading line up to the mountains in the background. But um, I think we've got probably 20 minutes, hopefully. So I should have a bit of time to get um, fun in a good composition before the sun comes out. I'm gonna hang around for a little bit longer. Um, the clouds may part behind me. We've got some more light up on the mountains up there. It looks amazing at the moment. It's, you just got patches of light everywhere. If I can get any light on Crib Gok, um, that'd be brilliant, but on any of these hills or mountains around would be ideal. I don't necessarily want foreground light around here because I want that to be quite dark so the eye leads towards the light, which will be the background. Um, and as we speak, there's a tiny bit of light, I don't know if you can see it, on the mountain in the back. So if that gets a bit better, then uh, I'll take another photograph. But it's very moody light at the moment. Um, and that's just perfect, it looks really good. I'm happy now. Might get a few more shots and then, uh, then start heading back. The light has just come out from behind the clouds. Um, it's lighting up everything. We've got some beautiful light on the, on the mountains of the background, on the mountains in the, the middle distance, um, and on these reeds in the foreground. So we get some great light. Um, 
I'm getting ready just to there's going to be some clouds passing through the sun in a minute so I'm going to keep taking photographs because you'll get different patterns um, I would like these reeds here not to be in the sun because they are a bit too bright um, but I really like the light on the mountains and these these hills in the background it looks great so I'm just firing off quite a few exposures now um, the, the clouds are moving as well in the background so it's it's all coming together now today has been absolutely spectacular really really happy I got out of bed I'm heading back down now. Um, I have absolutely no idea where the footpath has gone. So uh, I'm just making my way down. There's a few sheep paths and things like that. So I'm following those. Um, you can see behind me, the light is amazing. Um, there's some really good light in the mountains still at this time, but uh, I need to get back for the car. Um, the car parks up in about half an hour so I should make it it's only about 15 20 minutes so I might get a photograph on the way down but uh, there's a nice waterfall going down there it's quite a big one and uh, there's a few tiny little ones dotted here and there which are um, I don't know if they're just tributaries or overruns or something like that so uh, there should be one or two photographs. And um, there's some beautiful light over there in the background there. Just some shafts of light going onto that, that little lake. Um, we'll be hitting it in a minute, it looks, looks amazing. Um, I haven't really got a long enough lens to get a photograph of that. Um, because I was walking up this hill, I've restricted myself to the weight. So uh, I left the bigger lenses at home. So I'm just going for close up foreground interest if I can. But I've had so many great photographs anyway today. I'm really happy with those, so it doesn't matter too much if I don't get any more. It's just so beautiful up here though. I could spend such a long time taking photos. It's great. And there's, there's a river, you can probably hear it. <laughs> there's a sheep watching me as well um, yeah it's lovely up here there's a few styles um, dotted all over the place but the footpath is quite difficult I've looked on an OS map and um, can't actually see where the uh, path is there seems to be a line up the river but I don't know if that's the the dividing line of the counties because you've got Conway I think over that side and some I'm not sure which that side is um, and there are dotted lines all over the place so I'm not sure if it's a proper footpath or it's just for anglers because there's a sign about fishermen down there so it could just be for them but it's not too bad to get up here anyway if um, if you just look for the the styles and roughly head in those directions you can get up here safe enough. Right, I've finally made it back to the car. I've got about two or three minutes spare, so good timing. So it's now time to go and have a cup of tea and some breakfast. Lots of cars going by.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you for sake. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give a thumbs up and leave me a comment what you liked, what you didn't like. And uh, as ever, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you, and I'll see you next time.